She talks. She listens. She cares. She's Joyce Oglesby. In today's ever-changing world, Joyce takes on the hottest issues. She fights for what's right in America. Just Ask Joyce is brought to you by Guaranteed Total Construction, Window World, Nans and Crafts Florists, Squire Boone Caverns, and About Face Spa and Salon. Now, Just Ask Joyce. Leave that kind of legacy. And welcome to Just Ask Joyce. I'm Joyce Oglesby, your Family Life Fix-It Pro. Thank you for joining me today. I am so excited today because a longtime friend and colleague of mine and my doctor, one of my doctors, Dr. Andrew Bourne, he's here in person, yes, live. Many of you who have followed me on the radio have come to love Dr. Bourne and actually have been to Dr. Bourne, but now you get to see him in person and see what you've been missing if you haven't been. But after you see him today, you're gonna to want to make sure you call him and get you an appointment scheduled. Also in the show, we're gonna talk about someone who's kind of angry at God because their circumstances have not changed after praying about it. But guys, don't worry, we're gonna get you Joyce's fix at the Window World email bag time right here on Just Ask Joyce. Without further ado, I want to welcome you to the show, Dr. Bourne. Hey, I'm so excited to have you on. Thank you. I've been waiting. People are really, really anxious to hear you, but now they get to see you too. Now we're here. Now we're here. We're here. Yeah. All right. So uh, I, I'm going to tell you, you've got a new pad. I love it. Your new place is great. Yeah. Yeah. It's really great. Um, that was a, a, a really hefty experience to get it there, but it was worth <laughs> yes. it. But you did it, and it is so good. I, I love going in because it's such a therapeutic feel. It's just relaxing, and it's just like, okay, now I'm coming to get better, and, but I, I'm going to sit and relax. It's just it's yeah. wonderful to come in. Absolutely. I think the, you know, the more we, uh, it's a home-based office, um, uh -huh. but uh, you know, it's a clinic out uh, in the back, but as we get it landscaped and things like that, it'll really come alive. So. Yeah, don't let it fool you, guys. I'm telling you what, you're going to go in, you're going to come out feeling much, much better. Um, but now let's tell the people where you are. Get a pencil and paper because you're going to want to write this down because Dr. Andrew Bourne can cure what ails you. <laughs> I'm just telling you. That's fine. We, 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 you yeah. have been for what it, I know. I, I know. You, All right. you so have, and I've referred a lot of people, and people have gone to you, and you know, listen, the proof is in the pudding. There. Okay, great. So we're at 2004 Hounds Lane, H-O-U-N-Z. Uh, Louisville, Kentucky, 40223. Uh, phone number there is 502-426-4511. And uh, if you want to shoot an email, it's office at bornchiropractic.com. There you go. Right. And we'll give you that information later on in the show. But I want to talk about something that kind of plagues everybody, heads. Yeah. Yeah, our heads. There's a lot that we're going to talk about, and we'll have you back. You'll kind of be a staple on the Just Ask Joy show. But um, heads, and I say that today because my neck is kind of stiff, and I'm actually going to see you after, after the show. After the show, yes. Um, because you're going to give me a little fix. And you do different, though. You don't, like, pop and crack. I don't – you really have a phenomenal way with the head. Why are you so in tune with it? You are kind of a craniopathist anyway. Right? Yeah, craniopathy. I'm an advanced practitioner on the website uh, for SORCI. It stands for Sacral Occipital Research Society International. That's the... Uh, it's a big word. It is. It's uh, Well, it was Nothing. a research um, kind of engine set forth in the... I've seen manuscripts go back as far as the 40s. And uh, essentially um, what chiropractors were doing in that time period was asking why is Betsy Sue or Jimmy mm -hmm. Joe's neck or back keep going out of alignment? So they started doing research. And then what they did was at that time period, the healthcare system was a little bit more even playing field. Technology hadn't gotten involved. And uh, so everything was still kind of grassroots. And so osteopathy, uh, allopathic, or medical doctor and or chiropractic um, were all kind of searching for their you know mm -hmm. foothold. So uh, uh, craniopathy is a combination of osteopathy and chiropractic. So, so cool. it, yeah, so it took the best of the manual adjusting side of osteop osteopathy and then mixed it with chiropractic, which created craniopathy. 
it's amazing when I lay on that table and you start maneuvering, I'll just say, my, my head. And right. you'll touch spots in behind my ears or either on my ear. Or up, and it's like, and you just know that something's wrong. Or I don't, I don't understand it, but you do, and I'm so glad you do. Yeah, um, I think the way you, the way it would would kind of boil down to is, and um, for you know viewers and listeners and watchers who are kind of trying to understand what this really means, um, when you when you go deeper into the uh, the rabbit hole of chiropractic um, advanced technique, you start to have indications as to what needs to be corrected. So rather than treating the symptom. Um, the practitioner is uh, using a set of indicators that are neurologically or energetically present on the body and it denotes where the stress is. So if you go and correct, if an indicator shows up here and you go correct over here and this gets better, the problem's going to get better. Wow. Um. Well, you know, I, I, it's, it's it intrigued me a lot. Our head is hard. <laughs> I, it is, I mean, but the from what I've learned from you, there's lots that go goes on within our heads, Man, right? Yes. So, um, can you kind of t direct us? I know you have a little video that I think is so fascinating. Yeah. Um, so, just kind of, can you talk us through that and tell us sure. what's actually going on up here? Almost every minute. Right. Yeah, oh, yeah, several. Right, exactly. like, well, I think the average respiration in a human being is somewhere around 12 to 14 cycles per minute. Um, if you're an athlete, it might be less, but um, what you're seeing in here is a full phase of respiration. So basically what you have is inhale, exhale, and then an inhale, and an exhale. And I didn't know all that moved. Yeah, the the bone, the the structures that you see actually on the inside of the cranium is the dura or the meningeal system, yeah. and so that big centerpiece separates the right hemisphere from the left hemisphere of your brain, and then um, the pieces towards the rear of the skull that you see moving that kind of mm -hmm. separates the occipital lobe or your visual centers from your cerebellum, or your muscle coordination centers, and so there's a sinus cavity in there, and so. Uh, m multiple sinus cavities and again what you're seeing when you look at that video is um, that is literally from uh, embalmed specimens so I would say the movement is probably even greater than that in the actual living being but because you feel the hard bone you don't think that yeah. that's moving like that underneath so that's amazing so when I get a headache or when I have a stiff neck this, your adjustment, if you will, or maneuver, or whatever you do, yeah, no, this fixes is, it. I don't. This is 85% of the control booth. So when you start to actually take a look at this structure right here, it's 85% involved all the time. So a large. That's a, that's a big percentage. That's a big percentage. So what ends up happening is when you, uh, uh, essentially, it's like hard to kind of put this in words, but. You're, you're trying to analyze motion, and wherever the motion distortion is, you, if you balance that mechanical motion, the system goes back into homeostasis. It goes back to balance. So a lot of chronic problems that you'll see in people, um, it's gone beyond you know, muscle or their shoulder. And depending upon the length of time they've carried a problem, you might be getting changes and shifts into cranial vault, TMJ, tooth erosion. You know, this stuff gets um, extremely complicated. But I would stress to the viewer that when you look at that video again, if you can Can we see it know, again, Jason? Play it back. Uh, you know, uh, Dr. Mark Pick, uh, he runs a website called uh, Mark Pick Creations, and he's the brain kind of behind these. Uh, in the 40s, uh, 50s, and 60s, they were using like pieces of paper and like sure. safety pins to try to like uh, demonstrate this motion. So to have access to looking at this right now in um, modern technology, you know, what you're getting a look at is, is that is the, that's the life force motion that God created us with. That motion is, uh, it's, you know, prime, it's number one, it's, it's, the, it's the determinant factor. And so um, it's great to kind of have this visual because, again, if you have a restriction anywhere in the body, you are going to alter that mechanical motion. Wow, and it all has to be in balance. Yes. Is, it, is that homeostasis? Is homeostasis, that what it fancy word for balance. I know, I like it. Yeah. I like that. All right, so um, 
I, and I know, I, I, as I said, I, I know for a fact what you've accomplished in me and my body right. through your technique. I know what you've done for Webby, for my husband. But I also know countless stories of others who have gone to you and you have figured out some ailment in their body that just kind of goes right here, starts right here, or ends right here, or whatever. You can say, you can say this, that the simplest way to put it is uh, it's life force motion. So when you, uh, as a viewer again, looking at the video and trying to understand this, 1% uh, is physical, 9% is mental, and 90% is spiritual. So 99% of your problems are gonna come through energetic pathways. So what ends up happening is those pathways are kind of represented by the fascia and the connective tissue in the body. And so that uh, structure we saw is probably some of the densest fascia in the body. Wow. So when you start to change that, you're changing big players. Changing lots. All right. Isn't he fascinating? I told you he would be. Uh, Dr. Andrew Bourne, and again, get your pen and paper because we will come back and we'll give you his information again online. Um, on air so that you can write it down and then give him a call and just find out what's ailing you these days. But we'll be back with the Andrew. Don't go away. There's more today on Just Ask Joyce. Got an email coming up. You're watching Just Ask Joyce, where real life and family values connect. Just Ask Joyce is brought to you by Guaranteed Total Construction, Window World, Nans and Crafts Florists, Squire Boone Caverns, and About Face Spa and Salon. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am Joyce Oglesby, your Family Life Fix-It Pro. Remember that you can write me with your relationship issue, and I'm happy to address it right here on air, or if it's more confidential, I'll address it just between the two of us. But I can't unless you write me, just ask Joyce at gmail.com. This is our Window World email bag time. And I have a question from a listener that says, thanks for sharing about your faith, Joyce. It's refreshing to hear. I must admit that I've struggled with mine lately. I have prayed for my circumstances to change, but they never do. I do my best to try to please everyone, but the demands are so great on me and my family life that I seem to make a mess of things. I have become angry at God because he hasn't fixed it. How can I get beyond that and find peace? Well, I tell you, you have a plate full here uh, that I will not be able to address all at one time, but I am going to start off right here, so get you a pen and paper. Be an actor, not a reactor. Dr. Norman Wright has several books, and you can find that throughout his books, he talks about being an actor, not a reactor. You know, so how do you react to your circumstances? Are you acting your way into a better way of feeling? Because many times we have to do that. If we rely on our feelings to get us to a good place, a lot of times that's not going to happen. So putting that best foot forward and acting our way into it. Be an actor, not a reactor, right? Redirect your anger. This isn't God's fault. Your circumstances are not his fault. You know, we, we sometimes have this misrepresentation or misperception that God could just sprinkle some pixie dust over us and make everything better. Well, you know, he could, but he doesn't. He doesn't do things that way. He gives us free will. And, you know, and then so many times our poor choices in life is what got us into the circumstances we're in. And we can pray for God to change us, but what are we doing about it? You see, he wants us to be a part of that as well, to fix. So redirect your anger. It's not at God. And believe you, me, you need him on your side, all right? He's not one you want to make enemies with. Stop trying to please. You're trying to please everyone. In your email, you said that you, if you can just know that you will never please in everyone, so you just try and do the best that you can. You know, when we, we make that mistake of thinking that we can please everyone, and then what happens is we're not pleasing anyone, but the one that's least pleased is us because life has become a mess. And if you're a mom in a home, moms need some stability, all right? Home goes better with moms and dads being stable. Reassess the demands upon you. 
reassess them. You know, some are a matter of life, like eating and food and drinking and things like those. Those are matters of, of life. You know, we need money to get by, so you got to have a job. But some demands are simply just um, things that we feel like we have to have, but we don't. There are our wants. You know, so figure out what's a want and a need, and simplify your life. And start with your family. Your family needs to know that you know things don't just happen at the snap of a finger as well. And then adopt a new response. Find a way to say no. It doesn't have to sound mean or harsh in any way, but you just find a different way to say no. You know what, I'd love to do that, but honey, I just, I can't today. I can't right now at this time, but maybe another day. Let's pick another day. Or, you know, I think I'll just have to pass on that today. You can say no in a kind, gentle way. You know, I'm not sure what all the demands uh, are on you, and you and I can talk more about that, but a lot of times we allow those demands to rule our lives. We do. You know, we're trying to please everyone and make everyone, you know, our friend and we don't want to get on the bad side of our kids and we don't, you know, you just have to bring order in your life and order to your circumstances. You can keep praying until Jesus comes back, but unless you do something to be an active participant in trying to bring your circumstances to some order, then you're just going to have chaos. And so you be an actor, not a reactor to your circumstances. And let me just wrap it up because I want to go back to Dr. Bourne and I know many of you want to hear him. But let me wrap it up with my quote for the day. And I think maybe this will bring it just to you know, the, the crescendo you need. We should never allow our circumstances to impact our faith more than our faith to impact our circumstances. You like that? I do. It's a Joyce Oglesby original. But change your circumstances with God's help, but don't expect God to sprinkle pixie dust and make it all go away. Hope that helps you, and you and I will talk more. Now, don't go away. We'll be back with more of Dr. Andrew Bourne right here on Just Ask Joyce. Thank you so much for joining the Just Ask Joyce show where real life and family values connect. And I can tell you nothing is more than real life than head problems, headaches. And I'm going to talk with Dr. Andrew Bourne who is our very special guest and I'm so excited to have him on my television show. I've had him on my radio show many, many, many times. We did a lot. We did a we lot did of shows. We did a lot together. We yes, did a we lot did. Of we learned there. a lot about the body yes. and the functions of the body and how to make our bodies better. And I love that. And here's his information. I told you I was going to give it. Dr. Andrew Bourne, 502-425-4511. 426, 426. Uh-oh, uh-oh, sorry. That was my bad. That's okay. 426, 4511, okay? So, sorry about that. Make sure you put that down correctly. 426, and it's in House Lane over in Louisville. Just yeah. a little jaunt, especially with the bridges yeah, and stuff. Yeah, the new bridge. Okay, great. so I, you know, I have prided myself through the years that I just, I don't have headaches. Right. But I'm telling you... Recently, I have had different kinds of headaches, and there are different kinds. Yes. I know the difference between now a tension headache and a sinus headache, but some of these pounding headaches, I'm like, what in the world is that? Right. Well, you can have headaches that come from blood flow, from toxins, uh, from uh, uh, airborne stressors that hit the mucosal beds and the, and the skin lining and fire off inflammation through there. What about life stressors? Well, I mean, yeah, too. you talk about any type of stress, mental, physical, stuff like that, you know, yes, absolutely. But again, when we, you know, looked at the, um, the uh, uh, animation and the display of what goes on in that cranial system, you know, uh, mastication or chewing and eating food, if you have a temporal mandibular joint problem, that could reflex and cause headache uh, troubles. Um, you could have an ocular-based headache, so if there's stress in the eye or if you had an eye injury or your glass prescription not, is not correct for your you know, vision, uh, all of these things can create a, a series of stress in the body that, again, will alter that motion. The moment you alter that motion, you alter the flow of cerebral spinal fluid, and the body gets wow. extremely stressed and starts firing off different indicators that tell you where the problem is. 
So. And so you bring balance back to my skull. Basically, when you're maneuvering, I, and I say it, I can't even say maneuver because you just you kind of touch it and it's ginger and tender and. There's 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 79 cranial techniques um, if you were to number them you know one to 79 but some of them have subparts so we might be well into 150 maybe 200 different types of like um, soft tissue or low force techniques now again make sure when we say maneuver nobody's popping the cranium right uh, no, there is no really osseous aren't. correction you know it's all soft tissue but think about it as you get older uh, all of the uh, the skull bones uh, the rib cage the sternum and the pelvic system and the spine are the only bones that make blood so that bone is alive and it's moving and it's generating your blood. So there's a, there a pumping relationship, a vital life force, that's essence in that. So again, just because somebody says, well, I'm hard headed, uh, that's not the truth. You know, that thing's moving. It is, God's amazing. Right. The way he designed us and created us and it just didn't happen with a big bang. I keep saying that. But anyway, Dr. Andrew Bourne, again, I apologize for that faux pas with the number, but listen, 502-426-4511. Give him a call today and find out how he can help you because he can. We're going to go to a quick break, and we will be back after that, and we'll close out the show with Dr. Andrew Bourne right here on Just Says Stories. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't go away. And look at that, Jason. He's already gotten our number corrected. God bless him. Hey, not only can he do great things like that, but he can grow some fabulous pumpkins. This is a pumpkin from his garden, and he gave it to me today to go with our arrangement here. And Nansen Craft always does beautiful, beautiful arrangements for Just Ask Joyce. They are one of my favorite sponsors. Make sure you call them and tell them I sent you. And Dr. Bourne. Yes. You know, again, congratulations on your new place. Thanks. I love it. Yeah. Hounds Lane. Yes. Hounds, H-O-U-N-Z. Yeah. So why, why did you go there? Um, I wanted to uh, uh, be able to be close to my family, my you know, father of two yeah, children. Yeah. And so, um, you are a family man. You, yeah, family you love, man. Well, you know, you have youngins, and you know what headaches they can be. Well, Who yeah, works that, on you, by yep. the way? Uh, I go to a gentleman, uh, Dr. Will Edwards in Owensboro, Kentucky. Uh -huh. um, that's where my chiropractor is. Yeah. So he's my teacher, my mentor, my friend. So a very yeah, special person. Yeah, I heard person. you talk about him. Yeah. Well, um, again, I'm. I only bring to my audience people that I believe in, trust in. I have tried out their product, and you are one that I have tried. As you well know, we've been yes, with you now for years. It's been a while. It's been a while. It has been a while. It's been a while. And I just, you know, I I love what you do for people. You restore um, their hope in their health. You really do. Yes. And I just love it. And you've really cracked some big cases. I'm talking things, you know, that, that and I, you know, and I love the medical world. Don't, don't get me wrong. I do too. But some things that the medical world has not been able to figure out, you have. And it's pretty phenomenal. Yeah, I think if you, um, you know, the medical model is designed to preserve life and they're very good at that. But if you don't Amen. have a life preservation issue and you've got some stresses that haven't crossed over into the pathology or lesion side, you know, uh, alternative health mechanisms may be up your alley. Yeah. Dr. Andrew Bourne, again, the number 502-426-4511. Make sure that you give him a call. I guarantee you, you will not be sorry you did. You'll see him back on Just Ask Joyce. Thank you so much for joining us today. It has been my pleasure to bring this show to you as always. If you miss any of them, make sure you catch me on YouTube, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter. Did I do that right? I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, I do those things, but you know, obviously I let Stephanie take care of all my social media and she does a great job, but just catch the show and if you miss it, Again, catch me on YouTube, but don't miss any episode of the Just Ask Joy Show where real life and family values connect. And as you know, I'm in battle for his cause.